Sal Volcano is known for creating and starring in True TV's long-running hidden camera prank show, Impractical Jokers, and now he's coming to do Oh, we're going to have to teach him how to do that, right? <laughs> and we're so excited. He's going to be at the Florida Theater tonight uh, performing and doing some stand-up. So thank you so much for joining us. No problem. Is this is this like, do people get tickets same day? Am I too late here? Or is no, this you are not okay? too late. This is going to be great. This is going to be those last minute people who were like, oh, wait, I didn't know he was coming. Yeah. Let's okay, go. great. Let's go. <laughs> well, absolutely love Impractical Jokers. And we'll get to your stand-up in just a second. But what has sure. it been like? to work with your best friends. I mean, you guys have been friends since high school. You call yourselves the Tenderloins, and we're talking about uh, yeah. you, Mer, Brian, and Joe. Joe, yeah. So tell us about that. I mean, I think it's like a very unique space to be in. I mean, people, you know, get fortunate enough where they can get, they get like something, they get popular or whatever in entertainment, but I don't know how many people I could say have done it with it people that they've been friends with since they're 13. So we've been friends for 33 years. Wow. We are the same age. We met as freshmen in high school in 1990. Um, and it's, it was wonderful, really. I mean, we the show didn't break till we were in our mid-30s, which is kind of cool, too, because we kind of like we're really in a, you know, kind of a, it's different when, you, you know, when you're very young, you know what I mean? So we took this journey to, together uh, and I think it's the best possible thing that could have happened, really, because it's it's just... I, look, it's that it's true what everyone thinks. Like, there's no better job in the world right? than what I have. I wanted to do comedy since I was a little kid. I wanted to do stand up, and then this is icing on the cake. Like, I we we tour the world together. Um, we're filming the tenth season right now, which starts in February, and we're almost closing in on three hundred episodes. And we've done a cruise every year, uh, and we've had a movie. And I just don't know how I got this lucky. Yeah, I got to find out more about that cruise because that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> did you ever think, though, that it would be as popular, the show Impractical Jokers? Did you think it would be as popular as it is and, and run as long as it is? No, no way. No way. After the first season, we filmed 17 episodes. We now do like 31. But like when we were done this 17th episode, I was like, well, that was a good run. Like we, we there's really no, I was like, there's really nothing else we could do. Like we did everything. And then little did I know that we would be on 11 years later. Um yeah, no, you can never anticipate that. And we didn't think that it would um, appeal to so many different ages, too. And families watch together. And I think we benefited from them replaying it so much as well. I know that some people might be sick of it. I, I am a little bit, but... Um, <laughs> No, I just can't believe it, you know? Well, and it's funny you say all ages and different people. My mom was the one who first told me, you got to watch That's this crazy. show in Practical Jokers. Really? They are hilarious. She's going to be so jealous that I'm talking to you, talking to you right now. I haven't even told her. I'm missing <laughs> her the picture. Hi, Mom. <laughs> oh, God, she'll love that. All right, well, let's get to your stand-up. I mean, sure. what you said you wanted to be a comedian since you were a kid, but what or who inspired you? Yeah, for sure. Um, oh, my God. Since, I, well, since I'm a little kid, I, believe it or not, I grew up... Um, uh, Eddie Murphy was a big one when I was little. Mm -hmm. um, I and then you know later on in life it was like Jerry Seinfeld and and Brian Regan and yeah. and people like this David Tell and and now it's wild because Bill Burr and like now I'm friends with a lot of those people, which Isn't is that cool? if you would have told a young me that I would have never ever believed it. But yeah, I mean, you know, I'm just when you're in you're in it you're in it. So it's a grind stand up. And I'm you know I'm doing it like a decade now and 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 you know, so all the comics know each other. So it's like, it's really crazy. So what can we expect at your stand-up show then? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I, it's, it's removed from the television show. It's very personal. It's intimate. It's just about me, my life. It's observational storytelling. Um, and yeah, I just, you get to know me more. I'm pretty private um, in general and on the show and stuff, but like in this, I really talk about my life and my family and all that stuff. And it's funny. I promise you that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be coming over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. I can't wait. And really quickly, tell us a little bit about your own. You do two podcasts, right? Taste Buds and Hey Babe? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So over the pandemic, like we were at home and I was like, I need a creative outlet, you know? So I started these two podcasts with two other comics. One of my very good friends, uh, Hey Babe with Chris Stefano and Taste Buds with Joe DeRosa. So Hey Babe is basically just like an anything goes conversational type of podcast. We have a ton of guests on there and me and Chris really riff off each other kind of well it's hard to explain our dynamic you'd have to tune in but you, we film it so like it's very big just not on audio but you can go on to the no pressure network which is what we started the no pressure channel on YouTube and we film these so people actually watch it like it's television and then taste buds me and my buddy Joe 
argue like vehemently uh, about which foods are better. The way people have been arguing the last few years about just nonsense we don't want to hear anymore. Right. We're like, let's 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 take that passion and put it towards something trivial so we can have a little bit of escapism. So we'll just argue like everything bagel versus like cinnamon raisin bagel. But we <laughs> scream at we scream at each other and people love it. They just love us screaming about like Oreo versus Chips Ahoy. And we take a poll and it like, you know, so we we include like the the listeners and stuff. So that's another great thing. And it, those come out every single week on Monday and Thursday for the last couple of years with no end in sight. We're doing some live shows. We might even turn taste buds into te television shows. So. Oh, well, good luck yeah. with that. Congratulations on all the success. Um, and then yeah. just out of curiosity, because you do this show, but then as a troupe, you tour together. And yeah. I'm just curious, how does that work when you're on tour doing yeah, the sure. practical joker kind of thing? That's the most asked question we get because it's like, do, do you guys do the show? It's not the show. It's, right. it's it's the four it's the four of us kind of our friendship is on display it's a multimedia show okay. so we do we we tell stories like group stories and we show some videos we shot specifically for the tour things you can't see anywhere else we do audience stuff and so it's like this mixed bag of of everything and we know that like when people want to see us on tour like the thing we get the most is we want to hang out with you guys you know we wish we could hang out with you guys so we we gear the show to the fan, unlike my stand-up, like to the specific fan of the show. And we kind of make sure that by the time you're out of there, you feel like, you know, you've had a great time with us. So it's 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 different, um, but it's it's great. And we, we start that tour in February. We'll be touring all through 23 and certainly coming to a lot of places in Florida. So just to remind everybody, you can get your tickets at the Florida theater.com and the show tonight at seven o'clock. Yes. Thank you so, so much for joining us and break a leg. It was my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. And if you'd like to see this segment again, just head to our website at firstcoastliving.net.